I uh, I clean the car up, and uh, I don't know if I've ever done an actual time lapse of me cleaning this dude. It is rarely dirty. Um, I did drive it last night. Got some bugs on the front, so um, you don't want to leave bug guts and all that all over your car um, because uh, the guts and even like bird doo doo will acid the acid in that will tear up your your paint it'll etch your paint if you don't get it off um will it do that in 24 hours time probably not but i don't want to take a chance i'm uh, you know this car is 31 years old i don't want to you know i don't want to be repainting it because it, it needs repainted it's already been it's already been sprayed once that i know of because you can tell there's little areas that there is a little bit of overspray um but anyway um yeah i just want to clean it up you know um we're busy at work and uh, i'm grabbing overtime when i can and uh my garage is quite messy right now and actually it's driving me a little a little crazy and uh yeah i gotta take care of that just hang on one second That's better. Okay. Um, that still uh, kind of kind of getting to me, but it's better. Um, I should probably go ahead and just toss these. That is some measurements I need. And these are some of my Marka stickers. Don't know what to do with that yet. Don't know where to put that one yet. Um, that's gone. I'm gonna keep these tools. out of here I'll deal with that um, but this old girl don't know what to do with it um, obviously it's sat outside for a little bit it will run but the transmission will not go very far um, yeah anyway car stuff out there will get put away where hooks go i am a freak if there's an empty hook that means something is out so pressure washer undercarriage wand tripod goes inside um and uh yeah so i'm um, just want to kind of i'll walk you guys around the car i don't think i ever, ever actually have um it's it's a driver it's a good car is it perfect not by a long shot um, there's no rust no major dents no damage that is uh, you know blatant it is clean um, underneath is very very clean for the year it is um, there's a few blemishes like I said it does need to repaint um i did uh change out the rear end um i had 373 gear put in it comes stock with 323s um it does have Flowmaster hooker headers um it does have slp or i believe aftermarket intake runner something like that um and it does have a k and n air filter which probably does nothing um so there's a few little few little things that's been added. I'm I don't want to go too crazy with it, but uh honestly I wouldn't mind putting a cam in it, which basically is engine rebuild, basically top up if you want to do it right. Um but for now it's just a good driver. I mean it wants to go for the year and the horsepower these things came with. It feels like it's a lot more. I mean, they only came stock with 240. 
this one probably pushing that, even with the, the few mods that's on it. Um, so given the age, it's probably lost some, and the mods probably made it back up. So <laughs> 250, I don't know. Um, but this is my this is my area out here. Um, I don't know if I've ever done a a proper proper as they say garage tour. Um, but I keep all my compressors and stuff, shop vacs there. I. Uh, I'm a freak about everything being organized, and that cord will go back in its home when I'm done. Um, that's my memory wall, memory door, um, some flags, some signs, um, of course the old beast here, um, and uh, outdoor tools and nonsense. It's all got to be organized and. That's uh, the subframe to the flex. I'm going to have to uh, do something with that because it's rusted on the underside or something like that on our other one. And that one looks rusted, but that's just surface. I can clean that up and throw some paint on it, and it should get us down the road. Um, so, I mean, that's all my chemicals and nonsense over there. All right, I had to fix that. It's kind of flickering. I don't know if you guys noticed that, but the uh, photography and guy in me just was going nuts. Um, but yeah, the garage needs clean some more. Needs organized. Um, I want to do something with them totes. Get those stupid things out of here. Um, generator, it runs, runs great. I put about fifty bucks in it in parts, and it runs like a champ. Uh, so just tools and nonsense and. To me, honestly, this uh, needs a whole lot more work. So to me, this garage, it works, but it's always a work in progress. And my wife will tell you, <laughs> it drives me nuts. There's sometimes I come out here, I'll just stand and, and look around and be like, what can I make better? And uh, I believe that OCD is real. I believe that taken too far, it can be... A problem and I think I'm right on that verge I don't know but yeah I'm out here blabbering because I'm waiting for my wife to get back because I need to wash that flex and it is dirty lots of bugs on that lots of dirt so I'm just out here killing time I guess I can keep on organizing in the garage All right. Let's look at the car some more.